Howdy and welcome to another video edition of Remedy Land. Today I want to talk to you about halter monitoring. Halter ECG monitoring is a non-invasive diagnostic procedure that is performed in ambulatory or hospital conditions. The patient place electrodes on the chest, which are associated with the device, sized of a mobile phone. The device, Halter ECG is recording electrocardiograms of patient all the time. Halter is usually worn for 24 hours. During the wearing of device patient cannot baths, move the cables and remove the electrodes. Patient while wearing a halter, perform usual daily activities, which is recorded in the log. When halter ECG monitoring system is used for monitoring of heart, then the electrodes are attached across the chest to receive the electrical signals of the heart and send signals to the portable device that records them. To avoid disturbance of muscle activity of the chest, that can lead to wrong image of halt monitoring, electrodes are attached to the bony part of the chest. Each halter ECG monitoring system is consist of hardware that records electrical signals from the heart and software to analyzing these signals. Halter monitoring test is painless but can create discomfort during sleep and some patients have to, to shave chest to attach the electrodes. It is also important that the patient is not allergic to the adhesives tape of electrodes, which eventually will fall off, but the patient is informed how to return them to the place. After removing the halter monitoring device from the patient, the cardiologist transferring data from the device to a computer and analyze ECG of patient. Cardiologists depending on analysis of ECG, determine whether there are disturbances in heart rhythm cardiac impulse disturbances or ischemic episode. There are also wireless halter monitoring devices, that with help of the mobile phone are sending signals to your cardiologist, their drawback is that it has to recharge the batteries every two days. Halter ECG monitoring is used primarily for, detection and classification of cardiac arrhythmia in patients with heart disease or in patients with symptoms that could be caused by arrhythmia. Differential diagnosis, dizziness, short-term loss of consciousness. In patients with atrial fibrillation or atrial arrhythmias, transient occurring during the night. After a heart attack or heart muscle disease, there may be a number of heart rhythm disorders that may go undetected and therefore their detection requires the use of halter monitoring. Selection of personnel for special duty, pilots, divers, skydivers, astronauts, etc. Control of the pacemaker. Selection and the detection of obscure cardiac disorders in athletes. Research. Halter ECG devices may be used for diagnosis, atrial fibrillation of the heart, Multifocal atrial tachycardia, rapid heartbeat formed from a large number of locations in the heart. Palpitations. Paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Determining the cause of rapid fatigue. Slow heartbeat, bradycardia. Ventricular tachycardia. Sudden death in the family. I hope you've enjoyed this video edition. We'll see you again on another video edition of Remedy Land. Take care.